Could you imagine not being able to keep your pet taken? And having a law that would take away your pet? It sounds impossible, right? But don't be so sure because it's happening in Florida and other states. Right now in Florida and a handful of other states, you can't keep green iguanas, tegus, Nile monitors, Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons, scrub pythons, rock pythons, and anacondas. And that's not all. They're also considering adding ball pythons like my girl Honey, the piebald ball python, carpet pythons like Lemon Drop, the albino carpet, blood pythons like my record winning longest blood python in the world, Danielle. Boa constrictors like my girl, Cupcake. Sulcata tortoises like my guy, Speedy, here. Rainbow boas like Tiger Lily. Monitor lizards like my buddy here, Waffles, the black-throated monitor. Agamas, which could potentially even include bearded dragons because they're in the same family. This one I think is weird. Mata Mata turtles, of all things. These aren't a really common turtle, so why they want to ban Mata Mata turtles, I'm not sure. To make matters worse, the FWC is considering doing a whitelist, just like this one here with baby chickens. I don't know what's going to be on the whitelist. The fact is, is that a whitelist means that if it's not on the list, you're not able to keep it. So for some reason, if you're keeping some really cool animal that doesn't make the white list, guess what? Your animal is illegal and you're going to have to get rid of it. I like chickens. They can't pass this type of legislation. Can they? The problem is, is that people stereotype reptiles as evil animals. So I'm going to challenge the boys to show how awesome reptiles really are. This is flaming Hot Cheeto. Beer Dragon, super friendly. Great pets. They're like little dogs. Look at this. Should absolutely not be banned. You kiss his one side, I'll kiss the other side. Uh -huh. Don't ban them. This is a blue tongue skink. AKA Irwin, because they come from Australia. And look at the cute little blue tongue. They eat blueberries. He'll bite it. What? He will. No, you're going too fast. I don't want my tongue bite. Don't ban them, even if they do try to bite your tongue. Beautiful pink eyeshadow. Wait. Ooh. And this right here is Helen. A ball python. No eyes. Can't even see us, so there's nothing to be scared about. Definitely don't ban her. This right here is Noah Bartek. He's a crazy animal. He should be banned. And we're going to show you guys many reasons why they shouldn't be banned. Grab you up. That's good, right? We're gonna take these reptiles, we're gonna show people they're amazing. The FWC actually doesn't need approval from anyone except their own commission. They're actually appointed by the governor and they have no authority above them other than the governor. So if the FWC commission passes regulation, they don't need approval from anyone else. Meaning there is no pass. The commission actually meets every three months about these types of proposals. And if it passes, it goes into effect, typically needing about a 90 day grace period. Once that 90 days is up, if they decide your animals are illegal and you don't meet the requirements, guess what? You lose your animal. This doesn't just affect businesses. It actually affects individuals that keep animals as pets. We can't go inside here, Noah. What? It said no inside? Look at it. It's under construction. What do you want? Um, Misty Slush. No, Misty Freeze. Hi, can I get one cherry Misty Freezy? One, uh, small chocolate shake just to get the morning started. Grab a snake! Who put this dumb seat on? I don't know. It just happened. That's good, right? Helen, come on. You can readjust it. I think it should be a little further out. Do you accept payment forms of ball pythons? No. Can we ask you a question? Do you think that these should be banned? I had a bearded dragon for a while. Take Dream. care. Bye, guys. Thanks. Oh, oh, about to crash. Hey, yo. Would you like to learn about reptiles? Yeah. Her name is Helen. She actually has no eye. Now, now we're just taking a quick poll. A survey. A survey. Do you think that these animals should be banned? No. Why do you See? think people are banning them? Because people are scared of snakes. They don't know much about them. Are yeah. you scared? No. Give her a hold. What's your name? No kissing, no <laughs> no flirting, but I do all three. Check me out on Spotify. You know I gotta plug myself. Come on. I'm gonna have to bleep that one. A good aura to you. Uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, you do. Appreciate that. Yeah, guys. we like you. If you're ever looking for a job, come apply at the Reptarium. See you guys soon. See ya. FWC recently overhauled their regulatory system, meaning if you could get one violation, you could potentially lose your right to keep your animals. Oh, get back in there, buddy. And how do you get a violation, you might ask? If you get injured and don't report it to the FWC, violation. If an animal escapes and you don't report it, violation. Even if they find something during inspection that they're not happy with and give you a warning, guess what? A warning is a violation. Flower shop. Oh. Welcome to the forest. Can you smell that? It's a wonderful lady back there. And this is a perennial. Look at all these beautiful. Yeah, no way! Oh my, Erwin, what's he doing here? I don't know. So we love flowers, A, okay, and B, we love reptiles. Do you think that reptiles should be banned? No, I don't think so. Is she blind? Yeah. yeah. She is blind. She doesn't have eyes. No, I She's so, so, so sweet. Do you she want doesn't even want to put them down now. Look at it. It's soft. Right, yeah. Oh, you're a professional. Wow. Is, where were you? <laughs> I'll buy a dozen carnations. <laughs> Link in description to usarc.org. Please support to help stop this ban. <laughs> that was good. Did you like that? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh. 
Encore? 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 Ready? Encore? Ready? Ready? And guess what guys? Any of those violations can lead to you losing your permit and potentially losing your right to keep your animal even if it is just a pet. Up until now there's something that was called the Conditional Species Program where basically the FWC took a bunch of industry leaders from the reptile hobby and other animals hobby and actually went together and created regulation. For example they might have done microchipping, cage requirements, so on and so forth. So they worked together right? Well unfortunately now the FWC is trying to work away from that program. So they're not going to be using any of the recommendations from the actual hobby on potential laws going forward in the future. So the days of the FWC and the reptile community amongst other communities are about to come to an end. If these changes actually happen, the animal community as well as the reptile community will no longer have a seat at the table when these regulations are actually being passed. And that obviously can be a huge problem. Thank you so much. Our mother's gonna love this. We gotta go faster! First dog! Ow! What? Sorry, sorry, it's so hot. Everywhere we went, most of these people have never even seen a reptile, let alone touch one, let alone know anything about one. It's just the fear of the unknown that people are wanting to ban these things. I think what we have to do is go more places. He's in the flowers! He's gonna eat the flowers! Dude, Those are for mom! Those are mom! Oh! Oh God! Erwin, you have to stay still. So why would you bring this wild animal? Now you may think this just has something to do with Florida and why does it bother you if you're not in Florida? Well, the fact is, is that other states usually follow suit. Already Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and even Maine have passed regulations based on Florida's moves. Now, do I think the FWC is evil and somehow really wanting to take away your pets because they have some sadistic reasoning? You might be surprised to hear that I don't actually feel that way. You know, I think the FWC is trying to do what's best for Florida, and they think what's best for Florida is to make all these regulations, which in turn are hurting not only business, but also private individuals that are keeping reptiles. So I don't necessarily think the FWC is out to get us. I think they're just trying to pass things that they think are good, and in reality, I just don't think they're seeing the whole thing. There's that old saying, sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees I think that's definitely the case and what they're really doing is hurting the animal industry a lot more than they're helping it take for instance iguanas they stopped the exportation of iguanas which are invasive to Florida and now the iguana population has tenfolded because people aren't collecting them and sending them all over the country I stepped in gum, dude. Tighten up. Oh, no, please. No, I got the shot. I got it. No, get it. I'm getting it. Hi, Joe. Hello. How are you guys doing? Just have a quick couple of questions yeah. for a survey real fast. Yeah. Do you think reptiles should be banned? No. Why do you think people are banning them? I don't. Ignorance, maybe? Which ones did you use? Oh, I don't know. This is snake, probably. This really? is Helen. She doesn't have eyes. Thanks for participating in our survey. Yeah, absolutely. Jay, your drink. Sorry that the Thanks, flowers Joe. aren't for you, Joe. I wanted They're to give them mom. to you, but they said they were for mom. You want one of them? Bye, Joe. Don't <laughs> want your shoelace, so. <laughs> What a bit. Dude. <laughs> wow. This is a bearded dragon. Do you think that reptiles should be banned? Because not. They're banning them in either? Florida. No, you can hold whatever you want. Not that. Not anything. That. Anything. <laughs> oh, I just want to feel it. Yeah, I feel it. It's spiky. Why do you think that reptiles are being banned? Because people are... Thanks, bro. Enjoy. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Drop in the comments if you guys know what this is. Woo, yeah. Look at me and my bad self. I snatched you right out of the air. Uh-huh. 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 If you do your part, you can do it together. Just cut that hole. So, if you see, guys, when you do your part and you take your own reptiles out, you no, educate. that's not it. We did our part. You do your part. Well, yeah, I didn't. I hadn't got to. So, as you see, it went spectacular. Eh, wrong. Oh. All right, guys. So, as you see, it went super awesome. Took the reptiles out. We educated a ton can of people. Can we stop? So if... the beeping is. Can you put your seatbelt on? What we are challenging you to do is to take your reptile to public that's places. Not the bed. That's to not the bed. To take your reptiles to public places. I take just tried your to reptiles say. and show the world that they're good people and it doesn't matter. Noah's right, but what he's trying to say, and I'll say it in a lot better words, we took our animals out, we educated the public, mm. hands on positive experience, mm. and that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Educate, put it in their hands, put it, put it in your hands. Oh so guys, really nice. just, that's what? right, take your reptiles out and uh, educate and then manipulate. So what can we do about it? Why have I made this video? We have to support US Arc and US Arc Florida because right now they're in the battle with the FWC to try to not have these regulations go through and we have to support them the best they can. It's expensive, it's time consuming, and it takes a lot of work to do. We have no other choice, guys. If this passes, we're gonna see things like feral dragons potentially be gone in the near future. We have to protect the hobby, not only for people 
people like me, but our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So I'm going to put a link in the description for US Art Florida and US Art, and you can help them out the best you can. If you can financially help, that would be great because it's very costly to go after the FWC and try to change these regulations. But if you don't have the money, you can at least join the organization and kind of help rally on, become part of the Reptile Army or what they call the Reptile Nation. So go ahead, check out the links below, and let's hope the reptile hobby, amongst all other animal hobbies, can live for generations to come. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.